Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and I'd like to take a look back. I'd like to take a look at the Pirate Bay in 2018. Once upon a time, this was the biggest site for everyone to get onto to get all of whatever they needed. There was all kinds of torrents on here, and you could find almost anything that you wanted. Not so much today. Things have changed quite a bit. Uh, looks like on the front page they're doing a little bit of e-bagging, looking for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Monero. Huh, but not Ethereum. That's interesting. <laughs> and uh, it looks like they're not even fans of Bcash. Bitcoin Cash. Okay. Anyways, so these days the pirate bay is pretty much bare because all of the recording industries are looking at everything you do on the pirate bay in fact i am 100 percent certain that they upload some of their own stuff but they might clip the last 10 minutes out of it and then try to get you try to grab you and the thing with torrents is that you can always see everybody who is downloading torrents uh... the same as you if you're downloading if you're uploading your ip is out there and they can track down your ip they can figure out who you are and, ca and in canada at least they have to tell the well the, the recording industry when they bust you they get your uh... isps to let you know that they know in Canada your ISPs have to let you know that they know and unless they get a court order most ISPs won't give up any information but a lot of them apparently will a lot of them apparently will I remember back in the day the top 100 was always movies lots of advertisements for VPNs on here you gotta get a VPN if you want to do any of this stuff so Thor Ragnarok, the shapeshifters, Microsoft Office Pro Plus is number four. Wow. PC game is number six. Justice League. Things have changed quite a bit. Some things never changed, like the advertisements being a bit adult. Being very adult. <laughs> uh, and movies, TV shows, but programs. Microsoft Office is definitely on here a lot more than it used to be. They advertise all over the place to use a VPN, and they advertise a VPN. And you should not use uh, the Pirate Bay without a VPN, or you are taking uh, your life into your own hands. You will probably end up with a lawsuit. So because of that, there's just only a few people using the pirate bay these days compared to what there used to be everyone else is moving to streaming pirate sites that do exist and are all over the place We're going to android boxes this place is drying up but one of the awesome parts about being able to download some of these you don't have to wait for it to buffer once you've downloaded it it's there things have changed the more things change the more they stay the same and the pirate bay is still here it's just you can't use it without a vpn Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, take care of each other.